We'll go over three different tools in Google My Maps. You'll learn how to create targeted zones, a pins on a map list of locations, and driving routes so you can effectively plan out your sign placements and then communicate that plan with your team. Each tool has its own advantage, so make sure you stick around until the end of this video to become a pro at using all three. Okay, let's get started. So first we're gonna to go to Google My Maps, which is google.com slash my maps. My Maps allows you to have multiple maps that you can create and share. That's a great way to keep organized. So what we're gonna do is create a new map by clicking create a new map. And from here, we'll just give it a quick name by clicking this untitled map. And for this one, we'll call it, keep it moving West Seattle. You can leave a description in there as well if you wanna yourself, give yourself a reminder. We're gonna start off by first creating a designated area so that your team will know where they're supposed to be working. This isn't exactly a route, but it's a great way to get started quickly. To do that, you'll click this draw a line button and then the add line or shape. From there, we're gonna go through and click an outline of this area that we are going to want our team to place signs. And as I said earlier, it's really nice because you can quickly just give a general overview and some general uh, instructions and your team can get started right away and you don't have to plot out and plan out everything and still have some kind of control over where your team is working. And for this we'll call it um, Alki Yard Signs. Give some instructions to place signs every 20 yards. I'm going to hit save and from here if you want you could change the color of this area and make it stand out a little bit more. We can go ahead and even make adjustments here if we want to get real precise in where this area is going to be. Before we start creating our list of locations, we're going to add a new layer that way we can keep everything organized. To do that, you just click add layer. And then we're going to click the title to give it a new title. We'll call this supermarkets. We're going to go ahead and rename the other layer to keep it um, organized. We'll call that just Alki Beach. Now we can start adding a list of locations to this new layer we created. I'll start by adding an individual supermarket. We'll add the Thriftway West Seattle. I go ahead and type that in the search box and click West Seattle Thriftway. And now I can click add to map. And you should see that show up in the layer that you created. Now let's say that we wanna add a, a sign in every supermarket in West Seattle. So you can just do like a normal Google search, supermarket West Seattle, and we're gonna add these in bulk as they show up over here on the left-hand side. So we already have the West Seattle Thriftway, and now we'll start with uh, going through, and we can add it through the plus sign, or if you click on it, then you can, you can see where it is on the map, and then just click add to map. You can even go around and click on the pins and do it this way and just add to map, add to map. There you go. You've just added a whole list of supermarkets very quickly. Now let's say you, you already have a list of addresses that you already are having your team members go place signs at in a spreadsheet somewhere. So for example, this one that I have on Google Drive, it just has the column headers as restaurant and address, and the name of the restaurant and the addresses that they're at. You can add this to your map very easily by using the import feature here. You'll notice that you'll need to have a fresh layer in order to import. Uh, for example, you won't see an option to import on this other layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and click import. If you had a Excel file or CSV on your desktop, you could just drag it or click the select a file from your device. In my case, I'm gonna import this from Google Drive. I think I just have it labeled restaurants. And now you're gonna to need to choose the column to position your place marks, which basically just means click the one that is restaurant. Oh, that's not what I meant. I meant to say address. And then for the title, you're going to click restaurant or whatever your column header is. Now we can see we just got those three locations imported. And I'm going to go ahead and 
change the the style to let's change this to a uniform style and that way all of the pins in this layer are going to be the same color so now i can change the color once and it'll change for all three pins and so now you can see the difference between your restaurants and your supermarkets if you want to do that extra prep work and create a step-by-step -step route and plan for when you're actually in the field or your team member is in the field placing signs you can do that with the directions feature and to do that first you click this add directions button and that'll create a new layer automatically we'll name this driving route just a quick note you can also make a walking route by changing uh, the type and from here we'll just click our starting point you could type in an address here but it's a lot easier if you just click the pins that you've already created so we're going to start down here actually i'm going to remove the restaurants layer so it's just a driving route for the supermarkets and then click on point b here and then add that point b point now we're going to keep adding destinations and you can play around and see what's the the most efficient way to drive there keep adding destinations now the other reason why you want to add these to your pins that you've already created is that when you're going to follow this route you'll want the pins in addition to the walking direction so that you can get the directions there so it's kind of hard to explain unless you're looking at the at the google maps app with this map open but if you only have a route it it's really difficult to just get directions to that next location as you can see i've finished connecting all of my uh, locations that we added earlier i think the driving route can be a really useful feature because it adds some order to what's otherwise just a bunch of pins on the map. You can tell if you were to see this in the field, you might not know where to go next, which pins you've already gone to. And by adding the directions, it gives you a step-by-step -step guide. You always know where to go next and you make sure that you did not miss any stops along the way. But there are some downsides. The biggest one is that Google My Maps only allows you to do a driving route of 10 stops. So you'd be limited to each layer doing 10 stops. So you could create multiple layers and have multiple driving routes on a single map. Now it's time to take all of your hard work and hand it off to your sign installer so that they're able to go out in the field and know where you want them to place their signs. So in order to do that, we're gonna click the share button, enable the link sharing, and then turn it on public just so that you make sure that everyone gets access to it that needs it. Copy that link to your clipboard and then you can send this as a text message to your team members to make sure that they have it on their mobile device. Or if you use an app like Simple Crew to hold your team members accountable and to keep track of all your signs as it's happening in real time, it's a great way to see not only the photo uh, that the sign was put up, but you get the GPS tag and the date and time taken uh, so that you're just able to make sure that the work is getting done. So if you use an app like this, you can add that Google My Maps link to your campaign instructions so that when your team members are inside the app they're going to go into that campaign and they'll be able to see in the instructions here by clicking read more that link to the map and they can just click it with their finger and it's going to bring up the map that we created in google my maps and they can get to work as you can see here this alki beach area that we created earlier matches up to where this sign placer placed all of the keep it moving signs for Alki Beach. If you learned something from this video, make sure you like it and subscribe to our channel. And if you try it out, let us know in the comments, how did it go? To learn more about Simple Crew and how you can hold your team members accountable by tracking all of your sign placements in the field, check out the video, an introduction to Simple Crew for sign marketing.